Hello, first grade authors and writers and persuaders. Our goal in this video is to get to make progress by making our sentences more powerful by answering um, asking words. So we've talked about lots of ways to make our sentences more powerful this year by adding adjectives to them, by adding fragments like a positives or because, but, so, while, even though, since, um, before, after, until, those types of fragments. This is, a, this is similar to what we did on Tuesday where you are going to just ask yourself basic questions. Anytime you want to make a sentence more powerful, when you're in the revising stage of writing, just ask yourself the who, what, where, why, when, how types of questions. Now, one thing that I think that I didn't do a good job of mentioning on Tuesday is um, <clears throat> it's there's nothing that says you have to put all three details into your sentence. Sometimes when you try to add too many details, it just gets too complicated. So it's okay to add one or two. You don't have to add three, but what I did for you today is I gave you three asking words. I'd like you to still answer the asking words and then decide which one or two would fit best into a sentence. And if you decide that you can easily put all three in, that's great. But if it turns out that it only works to do one or two, that's still totally good, totally great. Because the idea is to make your sentences more powerful. And adding one good um, detail that answers an asking word is going to accomplish that. Adding two will also accomplish that. So let's see how this might work. So I came up, these are just examples for you. I came up with a real simple sentence. Authors write books. Okay. So uh, why? Why do authors write books? Well, just off the top of your head, why do authors write books? We've learned this year that they write for two reasons. One is to teach about the real world, and the other is to tell a story. So if they want to teach about the real world, they're going to write a nonfiction story. If they want to <clears throat> write a story about a character who's got a problem that they solve in interesting ways, that's a fiction story. So you could write, you could say, I mean, you're not, these are, we're just brainstorming. This top section is just brainstorming. So let's get the ideas down and then decide if, if it works to add it to your new sentence. So why? Well, we could say they write books to teach about the real world and to tell stories. Okay? How do they write books? Well, we've learned a little bit about writing. We've learned that they use the writing process, right? And <clears throat> what is the writing process? Do you remember? Well, I mean, if you want to add it, you if you want to add these details, you could say they they have a plan, they do a draft, they revise, they edit, and they publish. So you could just say plan, draft, revise, edit, publish. Again, I am not saying you have to put all this in your sentence, but these are just getting ideas down. 
who who are some authors that write books who can you think of an author that you really like okay raise your hand if you can okay yeah oh that's right one of our favorite authors is dr seuss who else have we read about what other authors have we read that we really liked um Any other authors you can think of that we really liked? Okay, well, if you think of others, let me know. All right, so we got three answers to asking words. So why? To teach about the real world and to tell stories. How do they write? Use the writing process. Plan, draft, revise, edit, publish. Dr. Seuss. <clears throat> All right, so now let's think about this. We could say authors write books to teach about the real world and to tell stories. That's a much more powerful sentence. You could say authors write books using the writing process. You could say that. You could say authors like Dr. Seuss, write books using the writing process. You could say authors um, use the writing process to write books to teach about the real world and to tell stories. So, Uh, just to, I'm just going to model for you just using one of these answers. So, um, what if we just go with the first one? So, I'm just going to have one of these answers to make my sentence more powerful. So, I'm going to say authors. Write books to teach about the real world and to tell stories. That is a very powerful sentence. Very good. Now, is there anything else you could add to it? Could you add Dr. Seuss to this? Could you say authors like Dr. Seuss write books to teach about the real world and tell stories? You could, although Dr. Seuss doesn't really teach nonfiction. He, he, or I should say he doesn't write nonfiction. He mostly wrote fiction. Could you say authors use the writing process to write books that teach about the real world and tell stories? You could if you want to, but do you have to? No. This would be beautiful. Or if you wrote authors write books using the writing process, that would be better. You could say authors write books using the writing process, including planning, drafting, revising, editing, and publishing, that would be a very powerful sentence. And that would just be one answer to one asking word, okay? So today I really want you to just try answering one asking word. <coughs> and when you get done, see if you think that's powerful enough or if you want to then let, add, try to add something to that, but you don't have to. So let's try another one here. We add numbers. Uh, okay, we do add numbers. When do we add numbers? Well, we certainly add them in math class. Do you add numbers any other time? Uh, how about when you're... Um, 
at the store and you have to count up money. Okay. Uh, any other time you have to add up numbers? Um, I don't know. Okay, we'll think about it. Why do we add numbers? Well, you add numbers to combine. Um, amounts, right? When you're adding, you're combining. How do we add numbers? Okay, well, how do we add numbers? There's a few different ways to add numbers. What are some of our strategies? You can, um, can you use your fingers to add? Sure. Can you count on? Yeah. Can you use doubles facts? Absolutely. Can you line up the ones and the tens for double digit? Sure. Line up ones and tens. I'm just brainstorming. We don't have to use all this. How about, can you use a calculator? Sure. That reminds me of our muscle word, calculate, right? Okay, so how could you make this into a complete sentence? You could say, with just one of these answers, you could say, we add numbers in math class, at stores, do you ever add at home, something at home? What if you're trying to add how many Legos you have or how many toys you have? Yeah, so you could say, we add numbers in math class, at stores and at home. Okay. We add numbers to combine amounts. Okay, we can do that. We add numbers by using our fingers, counting on, using doubles facts, lining up tens and ones in calculator. Do you have to use all those? You could say, just pick two or three of those strategies. We add numbers by using our fingers, counting on, and using doubles facts. That is a powerful sentence, and I didn't have to use all this other stuff it's, that would get it too complicated. Um, we add numbers, um, well, I, I, I think that today we just want to focus on adding one of these details and picking the right amount of words so it's not too, um, difficult and it doesn't, it's not too frustrating. But, you know, if you just say we add numbers to combine amounts, that's okay. But it's better to add these details. We add numbers by using our fingers, counting on, using double facts. Or you could say, we use our fingers, count on, and use doubles facts to add numbers. You could do it that way too. All right, so now, those are all examples. This is what I'm gonna ask you to work on. So I'm hoping that you can print off this paper <clears throat> and put your name and number at the top. I always break my pencil. Name and number. Okay. So, your first sentence. Some animals use camouflage adaptations. Okay. We've learned about this in science. You know all about camouflage. Why do they use camouflage? to hide from predators, right? Or um, for protection, to blend in, okay? How, like what are some camouflage adaptations? What up, um, how about you could say uh, the octopus, remember we learned about how octopus which is the plural of octopus, how octopi um, 
blend in with the ocean floor, the coral, or how we learned about how um, snakes camouflage with the color of the ground, many of them, right? Um, we learned how ducks and geese are the same, their feathers are often the same color as the water or the reeds in the water, the grasses in the water. So you could mention who, who are some animals that use camouflage? You could say ducks, snakes, octopus, polar bears, right? So you could say some animals, and then you could mention examples, and then say use cam camouflage adaptations. Or you could say some animals use camouflage adaptations, like brown feathers or white fur or um, brown scales as camouflage adaptations. You could say some animals use camouflage adaptations to blend in. Some animals use camouflage adaptations to hide from enemies. Some animals use camouflage adaptations to sneak up on other animals for food, right? So again, just answer all three and then pick your best answer to add as a detail to your sentence. Okay, so I kind of gave you some real good hints and clues about how to do number one. For number two, I'm not going to give you as many hints. I'm just going to read you the sentence. This one says some animals use locomotion adaptations. Remember locomotion has the word motion in it. So those are the adaptations that help animals move, right? So <clears throat> um, so I think on the paper that you have, I'll, I'll change this to who, okay? So it'll say who, who, what are some animals that use locomotion? You could write that. Think about what we remember, we talked about in science. Why do they use locomotion adaptations? Right? What's the purpose of locomotion adaptations? Here's a clue. Okay. How? In other words, what are, if you say that a uh, fish has locomotion adaptations, what is it? Think about the story we read um, about Sophie who had the dream about all the animals who lost their skin coverings at the beginning of the year. Think about the work you did uh, on your environment with your partner in science and the adaptations you came up with. You all had to come up with a locomotion adaptation. What was it? Write it down. Okay. Then just pick your best detail and figure out how to add it in a way that makes sense to this basic sentence, some animals use locomotion adaptations. All right, I hope that helps to simplify it. And um, I'm going to be very interested to see what you come up with. Good luck, have fun with this. And as they say in Sweden, Taxa mikiet, taxa mikiet, which means thank you very much.